Hello there, I'm Black Bright and I'm just going to do a quick video now because I, um, I, first of all, let me thank you for those of you who are following me, who are subscribing, who are sharing, who are writing to me. I really, really appreciate it and I'm so happy that, you know, I'm touching the spot, so to speak. Now, today I thought I would talk to you about guilty by association, especially since we live in a culture where we have um, black people who smoke weed and we don't realise what the implications of that is. Now, I found out today that you can be guilty by associating with somebody who smokes weed. So I decided to share 10 key points um, about it. OK, so just so that you're aware, I mean, if you want to continue, that's fine. But at least you're aware of the implications and what can happen. OK, number one, if you are in a car with a person who's smoking weed, you're guilty by association. Two, smoking weed, you are operating a vehicle illegally. Three, if a cop smells weed in a car during a traffic stop, all persons in the car are subject to arrest. Now that is scary. That's the one that scared me, freaked me out big time. Um, number four, you can be criminally arrested as if you were the person smoking the weed. Because as far as the police are concerned, although it is at their discretion, you are in the company of someone who is committing a crime. And that's under the Misuse of Drugs Act 1971. A driver who is smoking weed can go to jail because it's conceived driving with reckless and intent and it's um, driving with undue care and attention. And we all know that carries a big jail sentence and it's also considered as driving under the influence. So please be careful. It's not worth it. Um, Secondhand smoke, they say, is just as intoxicating as the smoke they are breathing into their lungs. And we all know what secondhand smoke is like. I know if I'm confined in a, in a small space and somebody else is smoking, I, I'm like I'm choking to death. I can't stand it. I feel as though I can't breathe. So I can understand how that um, is relevant. They also have something called hot boxing, which is where people will sit in a car. They don't smoke, but they inhale the smoke of the weed or the cannabis or whatever is going on in that car and they can actually get high on that. That's illegal as well. Um, apparently you can test positive for THC in your system even if though you don't smoke weed. What is THC? THC is tetrahydrocannabinol. It's one of 11.3 cannabinoids found in cannabis. Um, the police also assume that because you're inhaling the drug you are intoxicated and therefore unfit to drive, hence the reason why it carries a jail sentence. Um, weed is a recreational but illegal. Um, and number 10, you can smoke it in your home as long as the smell does not offend neighbours or other tenants. They can actually report you if they find it offensive and the police can come and ransack your home and whisk you off. So it's very important to be sensitive. I mean, and I know smokers already feel isolated. They're not allowed in homes. They're not allowed in clubs. They're not allowed in pubs. They have to go out in, in the back or, you know, in the clubs or wherever they need to go. But it's a choice that they've made. And um, so these are the consequences. Um, what do you do if your partner is, is, um, is a weed smoker? Well, you can only hope that he respects and cares for you enough that now he knows that these are the consequences for his partner, that he will be discreet when he's going out with her or him and um, that he won't make it obvious that he is a weed smoker. So if there is a stop and search, the police cannot say that, that, that the passenger knew that the driver was smoking weed because that is the key thing. If the passenger, if it's obvious that if it's obvious that the passenger knows that the driver is smoking weed, then they can be carted off and arrested as being an accessory, as being um, a guilty by association. So it's important that if that person cares about the other person, that they are discreet, they keep it somewhere not obvious, 
so that in that kind of situation the other person is protected can feel safe and comfortable um, yeah I think that's all really um, I just thought I put it out there because you know like I said we live in a culture where lots of people smoke weed you might not have realized that just by driving in a car with somebody and if there's a police stop you can be whisked off with them and so then it has a whole different meaning about what you do I mean you're responsible for the decisions you make um, you can just poo poo this video off and say oh I don't care I'm just gonna risk it whatever you can do all of that as long as you're not implicating the innocent and I think that's the most important thing um, because it's a very selfish act if you know that whoever you have in the car um, could be um, criminalized because of your behavior so I think um, that's all I've got to say about this video and I hope you found it useful bye bye